Are you serious? Seriously, I seen it. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. Hey everyone, it is Pellet Day! Pellet Day! Pellet Day! Today we have two pallets that we're gonna unbox together. There's a lot of bigger items on there and also we've got both of these pallets for quite the steal. Uh, $638 all in with these two pallets here, including shipping. So uh, that averages maybe about $300 a piece, a little bit more. So uh, we're very, very excited. Come on in. Okay, we're gonna start with this palette here, right here. This one we actually got for a huge deal. We were actually very surprised. Yeah, 184 bucks. Yeah. So um, the, by the looks of it, it is it's okay. I mean, it's not uh, fabulous or fantastic. The I think what really what people were really discouraged by was this big box up top that had you know, what looks like something that wouldn't cost very much. Yeah. Then there were some diapers here, so it didn't look like there was a whole bunch in there. And honestly, given the looks of it, if it wasn't a huge, huge steal at 184, what, 184 bucks? Yeah, 184 bucks. If it wasn't such a huge deal like that, we would have passed on it too, so. Yeah, and sometimes you can take risk on pallets like this, uh, and I don't feel like it's a risk. We're gonna definitely make money, but we already had a couple pallets shipped with it. If uh, it was just buying it by itself to ship, there's no way that we would have bought it. But since we already had a couple of pallets, we thought that we would go ahead and get it and reduce the shipping cost. So it's gonna be good. But this is a uh, another Amazon shelf pull pallet from liquidation.com. And um, let's just jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this big, big thing. Go ahead and get it out of the way. It's like a big black metal basket. And it looks like it's uh, supposed to uh, spin like this. Oh yeah. And uh, I've never seen anything like this before. Almost I, like a big, one of those big bingo tins. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm, it's, it's got a UPC here. So I'm just gonna scan it and see uh, what it is because I have no clue. What? Oh, it's a compost spreader, but unfortunately it looks like it's missing the handle unless the handle is sold separately. Because um, you can see here this picture, it's clearly it's got this spreader, but then it's got a handle right there. That's cool. Huh, that would have came in handy for us a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> and um, But it's showing the pictures that have it with the handle. And um, maybe it could still be in the pallet. Maybe, maybe I can get the handle, but if it doesn't have the handle, maybe 50 bucks, I'll try and get it locally. But we may end up keeping this for us just because we've got a big garden and we've got lots of compost that we like to spread. We're gonna mark it as $50. Depending on when we do sit down and do more research on this, it may be worth more. Um, and if that's the case, that'll determine whether or not it's worth worth it for us to sell. I mean, we could use it, but if you saw it with the handle, $217, um, I'm gonna be more likely to sell something if it costs more. But if we can only get $25 to $50 out of it, it'll be worth it for us to keep it because it'll keep its value here for our garden. Well, I'm seeing bigger boxes down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this one because it feels heavy and I don't see any pictures, but the box looks perfect. It doesn't look, oh, there we go. There's the damage. All right. There's the damage. Oh, and it is, I can tell what it is. Powder-free disposable nitri nitrile, 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 gloves. Nitro gloves. Nitro gloves. Oh, some really nice gloves. The good thing is it's got a little UPC. Yeah, like, I wonder, I think it's only damaged in one on one box. This box yeah. looks a little messed up. So, looks like 
They're currently not available right now. It's gonna be hard to find the exact one, but a box of 50 is running around $9, I think. Um, so I guess we could sell them individually, maybe at the flea market or something for $9 a piece, nine, nine, ten dollars All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this box of uh, Zappas. It's oh, empty. It's empty. <laughs> really? We just had an empty box? No, we actually needed diapers. I seen this when we first got the pallet in and uh, Lucas is the only one left in diapers and he needed diapers. We had just run out and I'm like, I don't want to go to the store. We're in the middle of a quarantine. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and save some money and uh, get these myself and keep them. And I don't even know how much they would have cost. So I'm going to go ahead and find out right now. And you left the empty carton in the box. Well, I held on to it because I wanted uh -huh. people to know that it was there. So 45 bucks is what it cost nice. brand new. So had we tried to sell this on Facebook Marketplace, we went 30 bucks. And uh, diapers like that would have sold for 30 bucks. So we're going to go ahead and say 30 bucks because uh, that's what we'd have got even though we paid them even though we use them ourselves. All right, this box is damaged real bad. So I'm just gonna pull the box out and then oh. pull the stuff out with it. But these are uh, bedtime underwear for, you know, the older kids, um, you know, with the, uh, to protect their pajamas and stuff. Yeah. When they wet the bed. Um, girls, and they look like they're perfectly sealed. No, there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. So that's good, that's good news. Let's find out how much these babies cost, huh? Let's see, there's 42 total. All right, so this is this is the 42 count. The, the picture is different because I guess they have the boy designs on there, but it's $25, so we could we could easily sell this for, I don't know, what do you think, babe? 15. Maybe $15? Yeah, 15 bucks, we'll put it in a flea market booth. That'll be easy, an easy sell easy sell usually when we get items that cost you know thirty dollars and under we're just gonna put them on our flea market booth just because for us it's that threshold of it's not really worth our time meeting somebody over fifteen dollars so box is open what is this it's uh hey hey yeah no it's it's hey it's, what? It's Western Timothy hay. Oh, it's hay! <laughs> it's hay! Yeah. I should have known with you that it would have been something. But you can see here, it's been cut open right there. So... Well, most people who actually need hay, I don't know that they... I don't even know. I don't even know you can buy hay on uh, online. I mean, I'm not surprised. It but, smells uh, great. It smells like when I had bunnies. <laughs> This is uh Oh, it's for uh little bitty animals. Yeah, it smells like <laughs> <laughs> So this is a nine pound bag, so twenty three bucks. And um, so that'll go in the yeah. market for so, fifteen? Yep, yeah, fifteen bucks. stuff in that box still well look at this this is cool i'm excited about this thing because it'll sell really really fast yeah this is the uh mini mouse peekadoo 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 <laughs> peekaboo baby jumper baby stuff sells really well um babies require a lot of things and anytime you can get something decent for a lower price any smart parent's going to jump on that as long as it's not compromised safety wise and these things right here uh, you can buy them secondhand pretty much everywhere. They're all over Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. So I'm fairly certain this will sell very quickly. There the dude is, runner. And let's see here. Buying options. So an wow. average of 127. It's probably wow. because it is. It's a Disney brand. Yeah. Disney baby. So the brand goes higher. Um, before we make sure we price this, I'm gonna double check and make sure there's no damage. Does have a little. 
over here, a little dent, but it doesn't go all the way through. Everything is still in its plastic, yeah. I can feel it's it. It's got that there. All right, cool. So, $90, $80, what do you think? Yeah, we'll probably price it for 100 and if we can get $80 for it, then... Uh, yeah, I think, I, that's what I was saying. I was thinking maybe if we, we could price, I know you like to price things a little bit higher. Yeah. Um, and then if we can, you know, make a deal on something lower. Yeah. So price it for a hundred and uh, hope to get eighty. Let's other baby dude out. Cause it's I like baby stuff because it, it sells quickly and I think that one's a lot more damaged box. It does. It's also not the the big name brand Disney. So looking at this box here before I even do a price check, I see it's very smashed and there is it's looking like maybe. Yeah, okay, so look, if you look here, you yeah. can see that it is very, very bent. Um, very bent. I don't even know, that it, and it's on a structural part of mm -hmm. this. I don't even know if I can sell it, but no. I will end up taking this out of the box just to check and see. Chances are this is probably not gonna go for much unless we can find somebody who knows how to repair it, but it's plastic, so it's it's a warped plastic. Yeah. Um but I'll do some further inspection. Let's see how much how much it is here. Let's see. Alright, it would be this one right here. And so it's $34.99. Um so at this point, I mean, if I did sell it and it was in good condition, I could probably sell it for $20, $25. Maybe price it at $25. If we got $20 for it, great. Um, but we probably won't end up selling that because the structural damage is, and it's baby stuff, you know. It, if it was something else, but, you know, we play it safe with the babies. Another Disney, Ooh, Disney baby, baby stuff. Disney baby It's stuff. got some damage to the box. But if this box is good, this little bassinet thing, it could be worth some really good money. And looking at the box, it's got a little thing there, the plastic, but I'm not seeing any issues I'm not even seeing scuffing. with scuffing? the metal, no nothing. That's so awesome. that is awesome. Heck I, yeah. I wonder if that, that speaks to the quality of Disney baby stuff. I mean, who knows? I mean, because all of these have structure, serious structural yeah. damage, but they, these are not. The items themselves seem to be really good. I bet this is at least a hundred bucks. We're not sponsored by Disney Baby at all. Just not yet. Let you know yet. <laughs> well, I wasn't quite a hundred bucks. It's on sale right now. Okay. For uh, seventy-three forty-one. Nice. Yep. Yeah, so normally it's ninety bucks. So. Very cool. Yeah. So what you're gonna sell that for? Uh, 60 bucks. I'm gonna go 60 bucks on it. All right, cool. and that's, that's not much under, but 60 bucks price it. I feel good with 60 bucks. All right, get this bag and this is nothing fancy. What is that? Cat litter. Oh, okay. And uh, it's an open bag. And, uh, it's almost like somebody used it, decided they didn't like it, <laughs> returned it or something. Oh, you can't return these. No. These aren't returned, so what, no, what would it... it just got damaged. They taped it back up. So... I see. Zero dollars. All right, so we are about two-thirds done with this first palette. And things are looking pretty good so far. We've opened up some great items, had a couple items that were duds, like that cat litter that we just opened up. But we're at 360 bucks so far with six items to go in this palette. And remember, we paid for both of these palettes, $638 all in here in our garage. And we're already at 360 bucks. So we are already more than halfway to paying for these pallets, which is exciting because we still have so much stuff left to unbox. So if you're new to our unboxings, is that our goal with every pallet is to at least double our money. That when we purchase pallets, we don't purchase a lot of pallets to sell them online because there's no way that we could get very good margins. So we buy items to sell locally and our goal is always to double our money at least. As long as we double our money, then we are happy with that. We find that to be a successful palette. Anything extra, we're feeling really, really good about our choice. 
this guy really caught my eye because the 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 logo is interesting. It's called Cell Treat Scientific Products. So to me, I'm thinking maybe beakers or I don't know something sciency lab equipment maybe. Um, oh, this box is very open, and immediately I see what looks like uh, test tubes. Yeah. So I was right. There's a lot of them in here. Let me see if I can move this to this uh, this dude over here. Looking at the box, it looks like something got set on it or something and just down here. So there is some some superficial damage, but the test tubes are fine. They are fine. Yeah. So these. Well, this one was sterile. I guess you can re-sterilize them if you have a lab, but yeah, these guys are in these packages okay, here. Okay, so they're individually packed. Packs Box. of 25. Okay, sweet. It's uh, 229420 is the... Uh... There they are, 229420 polypropylene centrifuge tubes, case of 500. They are $96 on here. Now these are, they're supposed to be sterile. The ones, the first two are not sterile, obviously, because they've been, whatever they've been. But these ones down here are perfectly fine. Oh yeah. no, these are broken too. So I don't know, babe. They're Looks obviously- like three of them is, is damaged. Yep. So there's 25, so yeah. So it's a bummer because we could have sold that on eBay. This would have been a tough item to sell locally, but selling that on eBay for, you know, 80 bucks open box. But since all those items are damaged, it's gonna be a little difficult. I don't even know what to price these for. Yeah. I'm not even sure. So this is one of those difficult items that we, one, we've never experienced it before. It's supposed to be, you know, something that is, uh, for medical scientific purposes, you want it to be sanitized and sterile. Uh, so with it not being sterile anymore, it reduces the amount of buyers that we have. So I'm gonna say 25 bucks for this item that we're gonna try and sell it locally. And then I will also put it online, hoping to get $25 after fees and shipping. I'm liking this box. It is a uh, memory spring and memory foam hybrid mattress. Wow. Twin XL. And yes, it has some box damage right there, but as you're looking at the mattress itself, it looks perfect. It looks perfect. And it all comes rolled up like this. You open the little package and it. And it what? It. Say it again. What was it? You cut open the package. Mm -hmm. And then all the air comes back into the mattress. And, and it goes, goes what? That's oh, what it making, does. I was just making sure I got that. <laughs> but it's a linen spa. Ah, now I know. I seen on an auction that we were just bidding on yesterday something in spa. And I couldn't know, I didn't know what it was. But now I know it's linen spa and then it's mattresses. So for the future, that's something good to know. Yeah, linen spa, memory foam, twin XL, eight inch mattress, $109.99. Nice, $109. Yeah. We could probably get, I mean, we could get close to retail for it because yeah. it's completely closed. I'm thinking up. 80 or 90 bucks, list yeah. it for 90, hope to get 80 bucks. All right, sounds good. Are we ready for another one? Yes. All right, let's see what these ones are. It is heavy and it says lock and safe, so that's exciting. Oh, <laughs> lock and safe. Let me, uh, Heck yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Let's see. Oh. How come it's you always get the heavy boxes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What you don't know is I go through all these pallets beforehand. Oh, I'm sure you And do. Uh, I know exactly what it is. So I always avoid I wonder, the heavy lifting. Well, we're gonna have to inspect this one. Let's see. It. Well, styrofoam's definitely done its job. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. Yeah. It does have a little damage on the end over here. And then you see like there's obviously yeah. a 
split open on this box. Let's look at this guy. Well, so far so good. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's a key. Oh, it's a too. key safe. This will, this will sell well. It's got I everything. it's the one that goes in the wall. Yep. So it's got the little damage there on the end. Oh yeah, this is this gets installed into the wall. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Cool. As you can see, we're in here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's yeah, got the damage right there on the corner, right there, which is right here in this top corner right there, which is a bummer, but uh, this safe, we can still get some pretty good money in this, especially it's a uh, key one, the uh, keypad, and it's got the keys, so I'm hoping Jessica reports back some good numbers. It's got a UPC over here, too. It does? Yep. Let me see if this worked. All right, so there we go, $91. I was thinking it was gonna be a lot a lot more. I sold a couple saves like this, but I guess they were bigger. Paragon also makes popcorn machines. Mm -hmm. They make safes and popcorn machines. But 91 bucks, it's temporarily out of stock there. So I'm thinking probably 60 bucks because it has the damage on the, uh, the corners there. If it didn't have the damage, I would try and get 80 bucks for it. But since it has the damage, $60, I feel good about that. Hello. <laughs> What's next, babe? I was trying to play, but you ruined it for me. All right, I got a broken box. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I know. And, uh, baby Brezza. <gasps> it's a food maker, baby food maker. And if that's the case, and it's not broken, those are expensive. Yes. The ba you can use like a regular food processor for baby food, but when you market it for babies, you can automatically sell it for more, significantly more. It's crazy to me. It's a baby food maker, and it looks like a really nice one. Wow, that is beautiful. Holy cow. That's cool. This is not a baby food maker. This is a baby formula Something. maker. Something. Oh. Oh, I see. It's a, uh, wow. yeah, it is not a baby food maker actually, which they do make baby food, but it, mo it measures body temperature, room temperature. That's cool. I'm wanting to look this up before, man, I hate even opening the box. Let's just look on that corner because, uh, looking oh it damaged the perfect spot to not do any damage to the coffee maker well it's not a coffee maker baby. it damaged the perfect spot <laughs> to not damage the uh <laughs> and you use the coffee it's baby. coffee for the baby <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet <laughs> heck yeah did you get that <sighs> what let me see let me see heck yeah Look at that. Oh, snap. $199.99. It looked expensive. Yeah. Like, it looked pricey. That is beautiful. And uh, we can sell this for new, as new open box, box damage. And um, I'm going to look on eBay because we might be selling this on eBay just because of uh, how it is. Electronics sell super fast on eBay. And uh, I'm going to go to sold on eBay, see what they have sold for. Looks like brand new. We may not be selling on, on eBay. Looks like they're going for less. So okay. 159, 189. So we know on eBay for sure, we'll be able to, there's a new other one that sold for 150 on eBay. That I bet was, we could sell this yeah. locally for 150. Yeah, so we'll go 150 locally. I'll probably put on eBay too and list it for 180. That way we know we'll get at least 150 bucks for it. But that is a sweet find. Heck yeah. Here, let's, let's pull this out real quick, because it's uh, plastic bottles of San Pellegrino, which... San Pellegrino? I don't even think I like San Pellegrino. I don't like sparkling water. Um, but yeah, but I can use it with uh, like with some flavorings and make oh, yeah. some like 
punches, like sparkling punches and stuff well, for you. Well, what's it on here? Is it expired? Does sparkling water even go bad? Best Buy 9 2020. So, so it's, it's still, still in date. I mean, we could try and sell it. I mean, it's yeah. perfectly fine. How much is this? If it doesn't sell, I'll keep it and use it. But. Yeah. You always gotta check food when you get on pallets because a lot of times it'll be expired. And uh, I just don't feel right about selling expired food, uh, especially as a business. There's too much liability involved with that. But I've eaten some expired Doritos and they were delicious. Heck yeah. <laughs> And flaming hot, uh, hot fries. Hot fries. Those yeah. were so good. <laughs> All right. So it's a pack of twelve. It's uh, seventeen bucks. So I don't know. Sell it for ten bucks. Yeah. But we're not even gonna try and sell it. Um, it's not even worth. It's our not time. worth our time uh, yeah. to do it. And uh, Jessica yeah. can use it for whatever she's gonna use it for. And uh, maybe we'll have a little party when social distancing is over. And make and, punches. And make punches, and we can have sparkling water. All right, so the last box, and it's a big box. It's not that heavy. You're just trying to make me look bad. You always get the big boxes, the heavy boxes. <laughs> no, I make you do it. And I don't even have hernia anymore. Well, it's a uh, Franklin dining chair in vintage black. Antique brass leg color. And that box has... Uh, that box doesn't look good, though. Oh no, it's been through some uh, some work. It's seen some days. It has seen some days. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. It's like a, there's like a wood piece. Oh, okay. It's, it maintains Protective the structural thing. integrity I of got the box. You. That's comforting. Careful, you'll get some pretty serious splinters. Ooh, it's pretty. Yeah, I'm not seeing uh, this is lots of box. styrofoam. It is empty box. It literally says. <laughs> <laughs> but this side has to go up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's a nice little chair. I'm worried about the chairs, though, because uh, the, the legs, because when I lifted the box, I felt almost like maybe there was a hole and something was dragging so i'm going to pull this out i'll leave this here because we'll probably have to re repackage it but and we try not to look up prices before we have uh, graded the item because um oh that leg is damaged two of the legs are damaged that's a bummer but I mean, the right person can fix that. It's not like it's a structural damage, it's more yeah. stuff. And it's got a... It's a really nice dining room it's chair. got some scratches there on the side there. I don't even know how that happens. I mean, the box... With a shelf pull item. So, that's crazy. I mean, but it's nice. Let's see if we can find out how much it's, uh, how much it's worth. So... From the listing, it said that this was a shelf pull pallet. And um, looking at it, that this is a return. So Amazon has returns in here. And you can see there, that's a return slip. So I'm gonna have to have a talk I've, with oliquidation.com. With like Here's the description of it right there. And figure out why a return was in a shelf pull pallet doesn't quite add up. Are you serious? Seriously, I seen it. <laughs> A $461 chair. I have no idea if we can even get that much, especially it's damaged. There's no way we can sell a chair like that locally. Our best bet, check eBay to see if they've had any sold on there. Man, this is like a, uh, whoo, but like a, can we even sell it for what it's worth? That's crazy. Honestly, babe, I'm really thinking that we, we list this online. We, we, yeah. can, we can list it locally for how much it's worth, but also have it double listed online yeah. because even with the cost to ship that, it's gonna be more than we could likely get here locally yeah. for furniture. Cause yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. And the box, I mean, it's got a box. We'll have to reinforce the box. 
It doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's just bulky. And then with the damage on there, we'll have to take some of the some of it off. I mean, we could easily. I mean, easily for the right person, we could probably get three hundred for that. Yeah. So price it for three hundred bucks locally and online. And, see and if we, uh, get it, we get it. If uh, it sells online, then that's two hundred bucks after shipping and fees. So, uh, whoo! So we're gonna say two hundred bucks. That we'll we'll bring home two hundred bucks. That's what we're going for. That's what we're shooting for. This may be a what we call a long tail item, meaning an item that we sit on for a little while uh, to try and get it to sell for that price because it is a lot of money. And I will probably go ahead and load it up and take it in our to our storage building and have it stored there instead of here, since that's the case. But man, a $461 chair. And uh, it's got a couple scratches on it. That's crazy. So looking at the way that the box is designed, you can see right there, there's two little staples. You can see there's two little staples that are right there that looks like the leg slid out and uh, that's where it was scratched. It yeah, sucks. I think it's the, uh, yeah. All right, so this is on both sides. But this part right here detached. Yeah. So it was no longer steady and stable. So we'll have to fix that when we rebox this. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we just finished the first pallet, which means that we're halfway through this unboxing. Remember, we are all in $638, including shipping in our garage. So in order for us to have a really, really good unboxing, we wanna double that. And right now we are already at $838 with that dining room table that was really, really awesome. We had a really great mattress. We had a couple really, really good items in there that really carried us over. It was funny, it was almost like, so far it was almost like there was like really, really good items and then really not so good items. There was really no middle ground in this one. So kind of a roller coaster. I'm excited to see what the second palette brings us. Let's do it. All right, so when we saw these items here, this is not why we bought it. Um, we bought this palette because it was a good deal. And, uh, but I seen these, there's a bunch of them. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I thought they were like little slip and slide things. And uh, the more I look at it, I think it's the little, uh, you go slitting <laughs> down the hill and snow. I still think it's water. So, but she says water, I say uh, slipping, uh, snow, sledding. sledding. So let us know down in the comments what you think it is before I scan it and see what it actually is. Because if it's what Jessica thinks, then we can sell it locally. But if it's what I think, We'd then we'll online. never have a need for it here <laughs> in Arkansas. And of course, so I hope you're right for once. Well, I'll hope, hope you're right a lot. Wow, <laughs> okay, jeez. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that was kind of mean. It's not exactly, <laughs> I was trying to be playfully competitive, but then I said it, I'm like, no, that sounds very unsupportive. <laughs> Which is not me, I'm very supportive husband. <laughs> It's true, you are very supportive. That's why I knew you were, you said it wrong. Oh, what is it? I was right. Oh, it's snow stuff? It's snow stuff. Well, our Kansans it's don't It's an expensive it. snow thingy. So 26 bucks on Amazon. We've got 10 of them here. There's no way we're gonna be able to make 26 bucks off of them. Uh, especially, it's May, almost June. So, <laughs> these won't even sell for another six or seven months. So we can't sell on Amazon, so we're gonna have to sell on eBay. So I'm gonna look up an eBay price for these real quick and uh, to see if there's any listed on eBay. I know if I check solds on eBay, there won't be any that are sold. I, I mean, I would hope not because that would be in the last three months. All right, so there's a pack of two listed for 38 bucks, which is a great idea of bulking mm -hmm. them together, of lighting them together. There is one for 25 bucks. 
and I'm just gonna check solds because maybe somebody bought it, but had anything sold in the last 90 days. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use eBay's Terra Peak that will give me sales history for up to a year to uh, to see how much of these were selling for last year on eBay. And that's what we'll do. They're light, they're bigger, but these should ship pretty easily for 10 bucks because of the, the, the weight of them. So I mean, even if we lot them two for 35 bucks, 10, $15 shipping, we'll get maybe five or $10 for them, uh, which is a bummer, but we've got 10 of them. So I'm gonna say $8 profit per piece at 10 of these for 80 bucks. And so I'm gonna say 80 bucks for all of them. I don't even know where to put all these because we're not gonna need them <laughs> for like another six months. I'm probably just gonna take them to the storage building and then mess with them come up. <laughs> uh, you, look, you look a little crazy with all those things. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna put them over here. <laughs> Well, since we're getting stuff that we have multiples of, we've got some Tampa Bay. Devil Rays. It's like a little uh, backpack. I'm trying to, I think these are a collectible, genuine merchandise. Yeah, they're licensed and- uh, What does that mean for selling? It just means it's, uh, it's, it's been authenticated. It's not counterfeit, which is good. We don't have to worry about any counterfeit issues selling on eBay because uh, we'll have to sell on eBay because there aren't very many Tampa Bay Rays fans here in Arkansas. We might could put one. Yeah. How we many might. we got? We got, I think five if I counted right. I'm one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And it's got a UPC. You got one? Yeah. So, 1582 on Amazon. Yep. Let's check to see if or on eBay if anybody have sold on eBay or selling on eBay. And we're just checking eBay because um, since that's where we're going to be selling it, it'd be one listing. It can so there's none even listed there. So not necessarily a bad thing. There's none listed there. It's an item that's definitely going to be a slow mover. But the great thing is uh, baseball season is about to start back up for people but we'll be able to create one listing have multiple things it just we may be sitting on it for a little while so price they're selling for 15 bucks on amazon we'll list them for 15 dollars on ebay and they're lightweight so i'm thinking that profit eight bucks for each of them so there's five of them so 40 dollars profit for the five of them what is that they're penguin pet blankies it's a pet blankie there's two of them it's not for a pet no, no, they're okay. they're they're kids' blankets that ah. have little like stuff stuffies in them. Uh, Desi would destroy this in two seconds. I got gotcha. you. So you wear it like that, and uh, okay, so we got two of them. That would sell at a flea market booth yeah. for sure. Monkey and unicorn. Uh, this is a fox and an owl, and they're all ranging from 16 to 22 bucks, really. Um, these are different. Yeah, I'm not finding that on eBay either. So, we sell them, we'll sell our flea market booth. How much are you thinking? I mean, 15 to 20 dollars. So, 15 bucks? Yeah. So, I got a couple of decor items here. Oh, that's one of those. Uh, is that for a uh, lawn? I think lawn? so. That's cool. Got a couple pillows here. Hey, howdy. Hey. It's a oh, it's a Toy, Toy Story, Story pillow. Well, that's good. Toy yeah. Story sells, will sell. Yeah. Got that pillow. And looks like a pillow of uh, a tower bridge somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure who would buy that thing. <laughs> People and, who like that. And then a cushion for uh, an outdoor bench. That's cool. It's so cute. think of five bucks for each of these. Yeah. So sell a flea market booth, get five bucks. What you got there? Are you talking butterfly wall art? Butterfly wall. That's kind of weird when it's that big. <laughs> and there's two of them. I mean, they're kind of cute. Box is a little damaged. They're cute. Yeah. They're a little cute. 
I guess you'd put them on the outside because they, they're made of that metal that uh, yeah. goes on the outside. It's a UPC back here. Yeah. I'll hold it and you can try and scan it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, wow. What do you think? 40 bucks? Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know if we can. I mean, I guess that's where it comes in and gets hard because for me, I'm not real big on decoration, so I don't have a. Somebody would pay 40 bucks. For I, don't, I don't place a high value on stuff, so I tend to, you know, for stuff like that, I'm like, ah, I don't even know if somebody will pay the that much for because I wouldn't pay for that much but it's a decor it's butterflies people like butterflies so Jessica's gonna say 40 bucks a piece for those so $80 total on the two and uh, I feel good about it especially if they're $60 brand new it's a pond filter oh sweet and I there's have the two boxes of them. look okay too look this doesn't even look open Here's another one just like it. So two pond filters and uh, heck yeah, I found it on eBay. How much is it? Come on. They're Come. selling, well, I don't know if they've any sold, but there's listed for $198.95. Surely not. On eBay. What? Yeah. Look. That's nuts. I know, right? I wonder if anybody, any of these have sold in the last 90 days. Well, two have sold for a hundred bucks each. So hundred dollars each locally. We got like a, a crab ton of these <laughs> shark photo props. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, hold on, let's see. Wouldn't it be crazy if these were like worth <laughs> They're uh, you put your head oh, in it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and how many are there? A, a gazillion. One. Let's see. It's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Ouch! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I got stabbed. <laughs> twenty-one of them things. Oh, we haven't even sold anything like this before, so I was like, how do we sell it? Do we Play try to- Play market booth, just keep uh, it That's stuck. a good idea, yeah. That's what we would have to do. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, you could try and sell it wholesale, just a lot of 21 on eBay, but how much do they sell individually? 11 bucks, for real? Yeah, wow. Uh, three feet, 10 inch, but three feet. So they're tall, they're like, Ah, uh, okay. Wow, so $11 free shipping. So there is no way that we could sell that online and make any money. Um, they could ship, I mean, you wouldn't be able to ship first class. So uh, flea market booth. How much you wanna sell them at the flea market booth for though? I mean. Four bucks. I was thinking $5. Five dollars? Make it so even five. Five bucks, so 20 of them, just say 100 bucks. For uh, for those and uh, those new little peg hooks we got will come in handy. We got a couple more pillows. Yeah, a couple five dollars. Uh, I like this one. That one. Another. Oh, another look at page. this. You like that? I just want to say, I just want to say, I have a thing for the moon, and so does oh, Joe. Oh, that the moon? Yeah. Oh. We're and, gonna keep that one. Well, see, I've always had a thing for the moon. I've always, been, I've always loved the moon. Um, my dad and I used to go out and like look at him all the time, and he used to howl like a, a wolf. And anyway, so I just have all these really fond memories. I love the moon. Have always thought it was really cool how, how, how the moon affects the earth, and just, just, it's just beautiful. And my husband, when we met, I told him about this, and I had a dream a long time ago that. Um, I would be sitting in this spot where I could see the moon get bigger and rise across the sky. And as it got bigger, it would it would it would get bigger, almost like a super moon. And the day that I met Joe, I had remembered this dream, and we were sitting on the deck on a deck at a friend's house. And the moon, I told him, I was like, the moon's going to go up high and it's going to get bigger, and it's going to be crazy if it actually does that because I had this dream, and it did. 
Yep. And did. his dad used to call him Moon when he yep. was younger. So we just have this thing with the moon. Yep. And so, so she used to dream about the moon before she ever met me. And my dad called me Moon. All right. So we got a couple more random stuff in here. Ooh. It's like some uh, curtains. curtains. Those are cute. Yeah. And uh, who is that? I have no idea. It's gonna be PC, so we'll have to. Oh, it's little chair cushions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, like like the ones we got before. Yeah, and a Iowa State barbecue. No. No, that's patio not... set cover. Wait a minute, that might be worth some money. Yeah. So definitely gonna have to be an online sale for this Iowa State thing because uh, chances of finding an Iowa State fan here yeah. in uh, Arkansas, very unlikely. And um, these little cushion chair thingies, thinking maybe five bucks at the flea market. Yeah, that sounds good. And uh, I just wanna scan this uh, Iowa State thing and see because- uh, I mean, it looks like it hasn't even been opened. No. Our sharks are swimming away. They're swimming away! Oh! Mm. All right, so on Amazon, it's a $26 uh, cover set. So what I'll do is I will end up pricing it for $24.99 on eBay. And uh, after fees and shipping, 10 bucks profit. Okay. Uh, so 10 bucks profit. And then these curtains, they they feel heavy. Like this is a heavy duty little curtain, two I mean, panels. It's got two panels, which yeah. sometimes that doesn't always happen. So 34 bucks on Amazon. Cool. So this is something we can put at the flea market booth. May try and sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but flea market booth, how much you thinking? Oh, I don't know, 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. 20 bucks would be a steal for uh, these Something two. like that, yep. yeah. So we are just now roughly halfway through this second pallet, and I had no idea there was that much stuff on that pallet. I guess it's true, truly say you can, I guess you can really say is that you don't really know exactly what is on a pallet, how much is on a pallet until you get to unboxing it because there was way more stuff on here than I thought. And we just added it up and we're at $1,600 so far. And remember that we paid $638 all in for these two pallets in our garage and we've almost profited a thousand dollars and we still have nine boxes left. That's crazy. I did not think that we'd be doing this well. So we're almost tripling our money. Who knows how much money we're gonna make off of these two pallets. As I was looking through this box, I found two of these and I saw cry cut maker on here. Uh -huh. And I'm like, that's money. I mean. What's cry cut? Well, it's material. It's like a, a materials that people save up a lot of money to be able to make shirts and uh -huh. things like that on here. And we've so, got two of them? There are two of them. <laughs> the boxes are perfect. They're perfect there's some, pristine. There's some like, you know, little. But that's nothing. Don't yeah. even go all the way through. It doesn't. So I'm I'm going to. Two boxes. I'm really. Maker champagne. Like my heart right now is kind of like. Amazon Prime. So it's an Amazon Prime bundle. My heart is like kind of beating really fast because I yeah. know I, I priced cry cut machines yeah. before because I wanted one myself. <laughs> so just give me a second. I'm going to. Um, Did Christmas come early? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. This is it, right? Okay. No, is it this one? No, this is the bundle. Is this the bundle? Yeah. Bundle. Amazon bundle. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> $559. Y'all, I'm about Focus. to almost $568. So $560 and they're ranging in prices. We've seen some, we just looked it up. They're like $450 to $560. eBay's got them selling for like $484 on eBay. That is a lot of money. We got two of them. And this is the bundle, which makes it different than just the maker, which some of those lower priced items are. 
Jessica's still in shock. She's in the dilemma now because she really wants one. I'm not keeping it. I'm selling it. I'm just <laughs> tripping because it's like two innocent boxes in the bottom yeah. of a pallet. Like what, it, I, <laughs> I saw it, when I saw it over there, like I lit, I, oh, like you were doing the return, like the, you know, this is what we made so far yeah. or whatever. So I'm like, okay, well let me just get in here and just figure out what we're gonna do next. I pull it open, I see cry cut maker and my heart just goes blah. <laughs> I was like, no way. And so part of me was almost like, I don't know, skeptical, you know, that we were gonna have like a four or $500 machine. Uh, well, I was actually thinking in my head, I didn't know there were bundles, you know, so I was thinking, oh, crack cut machine, 300 bucks maybe, uh. you know. So, like, I, I almost feel a little nauseous, like maybe I might throw up. <laughs> <sighs> Whoo! So, two of these, we're going to just call it 400 bucks a piece. Because uh, if we sell it on eBay, try and get, you know, the 484 after fees and shipping, we'll have more than 400 bucks. But man, 400 bucks a piece, two boxes, that's crazy. So I just did the math after uh, those two boxes, because I know I just did the math on before, but I'm like 800 bucks. That's $2,400. And we still have all of this left. I'm super excited. Jessica's freaking out. Like we've almost quadrupled our money already. And uh, all of that remaining. Can y'all believe that two boxes that we'll be able to get $400 a piece for? Like the same thing, that is crazy. I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> She's gonna pee her pants. And I wanna unbox some more stuff cause I'm so excited. <laughs> what is that? I don't know if we can pull these flat boxes out. Sweet, that's custom car mats. I seen it on the other side. Oh. No, this, this one is top piece, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. there, ah, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let me get a uh, All right. a better view for you. Mm -hmm. Custom fit car mats. Car mats. Car. car mats. Car mats always sell well on Facebook Marketplace, and uh, there's no, no identifying UPC. Nothing on the other side. Yeah. Here we go. Sweet. Mini Cooper, 2010, Ooh. tan. So this may be something, if it's a, a unique item like that, Mini Cooper, 2010, tan. This may be Holy going- Holy crap! <laughs> this is gonna go online. Um, <laughs> <laughs> another hundred dollar <laughs> item. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me see it, Jessica. I can't, I can't, I can't think anymore. <laughs> So $99, right? So <laughs> whatever it's selling for on eBay, that's what we'll sell it for. And um, after shipping and fees, easy 50 bucks. And why are we gonna try to sell this locally? Because it's a very specific model that in our town, there's not a lot of people here. We'll probably put it on Facebook Marketplace here, try and get 80 bucks for it, but we'll also put it on eBay and uh, get $50 for it. So that's what we're gonna mark it down as, 50 bucks. Come on! I, I, I can't handle the suspense much longer. Like my, just, my body hurts. I'm just seeing, I'm looking at these boxes and I'm seeing so much money on, these, on this pallet still. I'm just like, All right, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> So we'll go with some of this stuff. Um, it's a, just a box. <laughs> uh. It's just a box. <laughs> it's a canvas. It's a uh, a painting. Okay. And uh, the box, look at, got a little damaged. And uh, I don't even know what was wrong with it. So this one's truly a shelf pool. And I uh, have no idea why it got pulled. Unless but the picture is awful. It's a 16 by 24 canvas. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all ready? Ooh. Oh, that's, huh. That's, uh, it's pretty. Are you disappointed? <laughs> ah, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna find a lovely home for somebody that's gonna have... Uh, Joe was hoping it was something he'd like that he could keep. 
Yeah, all of the paintings in our house <laughs> came from all the palace. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cheap. We would not have a decorated house. We're both cheap. Yeah, I'm gonna mess this up trying to get Mike in the box. I can help you with that because you're doing it wrong. Is that a typical wife thing to say when you're dealing with paintings? I don't know. You're doing it wrong. How much are we gonna sell it for? I wanna know what, like, maybe the artist is very good. And uh, you know, the, the photographer, it's not an artist, because I mean, I guess they could be an artist, but maybe the person who took it is a well-known photographer and it may bring more online. Uh, Cause I mean, I wouldn't say more than 10 bucks locally, but you never know if it's a very popular photographer. So I'm gonna look just in case. I don't know, where's some call 10 bucks. Okay. So 10 bucks. And the other thing we got is a brand new laser cartridge. Um, these are usually 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, after shipping and fees, we're just gonna call it 10 bucks, put it on eBay, take some pictures of it, put it in there, it's for the HP. So 10 bucks. You ready? So we're down to the final five boxes. This is a really light box, so I don't know what's in it, but the box does not look damaged at all. Oh, okay. So that's like an Amazon FBA shipment. Yeah. Uh, be careful not to heal it. Oh, it's the so it's uh, the Toy Story pillows. It's more than Toy Story pillows that we got. One, two, three, there's four more in Yeah, so this Hey Howdy thing, um, four more of them pillows. And those are all five a piece, so 20 bucks? Yeah, so 20 bucks for that. I don't know if we're ever gonna sell those because uh, with one, you know, it'd have been yes, but now there's six of them. Uh, so it's gonna take forever to sell them at the flea market booth. This Abina light makes me feel like this is a light fixture of some sort, maybe. Yeah. You want to scan it first, see what it is? No, I hate doing that. <gasps> what in the world? Oh, it's uh, pads. Uh, they sell. These they sell do. really good. Cool. So it's a pack of. I wonder how much these sell for because they're not the normal brand. Does it got a UPC on it? Yeah. It's got one over here too. So selling for sixty bucks on Amazon. Uh, we'll sell it on eBay. We're gonna call it thirty bucks after shipping and fees. So we've got three more boxes, one more small box, and then those two big boxes back there, as you can see. Oh, what is that? Hey, it's heavy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Mm. I had a deadlift this Nails? Dude. Dry, truss, yeah. Truss, yeah. head, nail drive anchors. Oh, anchors, and nail drive. That's a big box. That was heavy. Ha. What? Dude, for real? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Upon further evaluation, it seems that... Yeah, we couldn't find it using the, the Amazon shopping app, but we found it using the Amazon seller app, and it's priced $149 for that box. So, I don't even know because I never sold this before, but 100 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it locally. We'll sell it on Am on eBay also. We'll put it, put it there, list it for 129 bucks. So that way we'll get about $100 for it uh, after uh, shipping and fees. So $100 profit. And these are big boxes. That one, I have a, a, an idea of what that is. I yeah. think it's a gym mat. And, it and is if a it gym is, mat. it is, okay. Yeah, pink. Okay, so if it is, that's quite, if it, and it's not damaged, that's some yeah. decent money. And looking at it. Nothing. It's good. Nothing. It's one of those fold out gym mats. So, new open box item. Let's see. Uh, I've never, I, 
All I ever know is the yoga mats. I don't even know about a mat like this. It's gonna be way more than a yoga mat. Well, I know that. I mean, gymnastics equipment is pricey to begin with. So is with. that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. 90 bucks. 90 bucks. We could sell this locally pretty yeah. quickly. I'm yeah. thinking we could probably get 60, 70 bucks for yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, we should price it for 70. That's exactly what I was thinking. And then if we can get more than that. Price it for 70. Use our old negotiation tactic of meet us here and we'll give it to you for 60. Yeah. So 60 bucks. Last one. You ready, babe? This is a good palette. It's a very emotional palette. It is. And this box is heavily damaged. But if what it's not it? broken. It doesn't look broken. It's a day bed. <gasps> what? Yeah. You know what? I've been wanting a day bed. I know. I, I mean, know. I mean, at the price that we, I mean, I'm just saying, oh, I don't I like to keep a lot of stuff, but we've already quadrupled our money. This may just be like our little like, thank you. And it's twin size too. That's and exactly, that's what, exactly we need. what we need. And I like the color, it's gray. So if it's not damaged, I may be keeping this. Uh, I don't normally keep furniture, but I really want one. I really think that a big part about being pallets is you really do have to be frugal and realistic, otherwise you'll keep everything. But in this case, if it's really a day bed and it's really in good condition, I actually have been shopping for one for over a year to put in my office area. Uh, so this could be really, really good news and finally an end to my yeah, long I'm not searching. any damage. That's exciting. I, I think we, I mean, if, we're, if we're probably going to keep it, let's just open it up and take a look. Look at the price. Maybe it's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if it's like really expensive, we'll just sell that and buy a cheaper one because yeah. we don't need anything expensive. That's a good idea, babe. Don't let us fall in love with it before we can sell I it. I know. How much is it? How much is it? <laughs> we may be selling this one and oh buying another gosh, one. Oh my gosh, how much is it? Oh. Let me see! I'm it's a really out. nice one. Babe, I'm freaking out. Ooh, it's pretty. Babe, but I really like it. It's got a pull out bottom? It does. We need that. Oh, I really. You're not going to find one cheaper than that, though. We're not. And it's really nice. It's our style. 380 bucks. So if we were to sell it though, we would sell it for, we'd probably price it for 300 bucks. Yep. 260, 280, we'd be happy with. And, uh, but 300 bucks for that would be pretty good, a good starting point. So if you're to sell it, furniture your area, 300 bucks. And OMG, like. I really, I look, okay, listen, y'all know me, okay? I am a super cheap person. I, I hate to say it that way, but it's, it's just the truth. I, I don't really keep a lot of stuff. I don't like a lot of stuff. So when I find something that I really like, I want to keep it. That right there, I really want to keep. I, it's been such a great palette. Like, I think honestly, if it was a terrible palette and I felt awful, I definitely wouldn't keep it. But it's been such a really good palette. I've been looking for something like this for over a year. It seems to be just the exact perfect thing that I need. So, I mean, my, my niece and my nephew, they spend the night all the time. And, you know, we put mattresses on the floor for them, but it'd be really nice for them to have a bed to sleep in. So, and that's another reason. So, I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep it. Wow. So you remember, we paid $638 all in for these two pallets. And we just added up the total of all of the items and remember for all those for all these things we took out ebay fees shipping fees for things that we're going to be selling online so we did the math and we came in just under three thousand dollars at twenty twenty nine hundred and seventy dollars that is crazy so we more than quadrupled our money that's awesome remember our goal is usually to double our money and we will quadruple our money all right, so we hope that you have enjoyed this unboxing with us, and uh, it just goes to let you know why liquidation can be so addictive and so much opportunity that uh, you just never know what you're gonna get, what condition you're gonna get. You never know what's underneath those boxes, and until you unbox it all, you really have no idea how much money you're sitting on. So until next time, peace.